Supreme Court on Friday, President Tinubu receives shocking message from Nigerians as it sets social media on fire as well. Many Nigerians have taken to social media to share their opinions regarding the fire outbreak at the Supreme Court in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, with many accusing President Tinubu of trying to destroy evidence presented by Peter Obi and Atiku Abubakar to avoid being removed as the president. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Many Nigerians have taken to social media to share their opinions regarding the fire outbreak at the Supreme Court in the, Fe in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, with many accusing President Tinubu of trying to destroy evidence presented by Peter Ubi and Atiku Abubakar to avoid being removed as the president. It could be recorded that it was earlier reported that a mysterious fire forced a, a seven-man panel of justice headed by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, and other justices to scamper for safety broke out at the court on Monday morning. According to the report, the development occasioned palpable panic in the courtroom, which was full to capacity with over 15 sons in attendance due to some political matters slated for hearing today. Speaking on the incident, a clerk who spoke to the newsman blamed the outbreak at the electrical fire wiring system in the courts, but many Nigerians on social media think otherwise. To many Nigerians, this is not unconnected to the ongoing legal battles involving Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Peter Obi of the Labour Party candidate, who came second and third, respectively, behind President Tinubu. In his words, Kualet Magsi wrote, Let me break this down. The idea is, since the Chicago State University will be releasing copies of my forged certificates and the FBI will release my criminal records, I will have nowhere to go. And it's gone. It's going to be dangerous, he added. For this case not to hold, burn the Supreme Court so that we can have a reason not to listen to Peter B, PDP, and other parties' case. Reacting to the incident as well, uh, okay, someone, another person said, you think these things just happened? They are burning evidence on a Monday morning when everyone is out about. And another person wrote, the probable saying of monkey hand, don't enter inside support, Labour Party as well as other litigants must now think otherwise, the boss, so that this does not impart all their cases. The political gladiators are at work. They are ready to go to any length so as to, to retain their uh, legal position. Hmm. Nigerians, I don't hear the matter now. Hmm? The, the fire that gutted the Supreme Court early today, Monday. Nigerians are saying otherwise though. They say that fire was not ordinary. You understand? That that fire was not ordinary. Somebody set that fire just to destroy documents, you know, so that Peter B, the Labour Party presidential candidate, and Atiku Abubakar will not see any evidence to present in court that will work against uh, President Bola Tinubu. You see what is going on in this country? Nigerians do not trust these people again. So anything, you suspect them because they have already given that picture. You understand now, when somebody don't betray you so many times, you can never trust the person. And whatever the person does or do, you, you have to suspect. Are you sure this is not what the person, you know, is actually uh, doing and all that? So you see, Nigerians are really very, very angry. So you see, they don't trust them. As a Nigerians, Nigeria, we have funniest things. 
Nigerians, where funniest things happen. Hmm. Petition materials for invent. You don't know anything yet. You have another poor beer. Just enjoy your time. Is he the police? Has he conducted any investigation before coming to the public? Okay, I don't know what that person is saying. Please ensure hmm, that Tinubu is at work. They want to destroy everything, okay, in that courtroom. Hmm. Meanwhile, police have said two judges' chambers have been affected, okay, by the Supreme Court fire. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has confirmed the fire incident at the Nigerian Supreme Court building in Abuja on Monday morning. The Sahara reporters earlier reported that a session of the Nigerian Supreme Court building at the Three Arms Zone in Abuja had been gutted by fire. Sahara reporters learned that the offices of some justices were affected by the fire incident. Sahara reporters learned that workers had been evacuating vital documents and other things from the building to prevent them from getting burnt. However, the FCT police spokesperson, Josephine Ada, who confirmed the incident in a statement, said only two chambers of two judges were affected. So she said the situation was under control, adding that the fire service and police were on the ground. However, she said the properties destroyed had yet to be ascertained and an investigation to find out the cause the 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 case, the cause of the incident was ongoing so guys i'm dropping it here kindly share your thoughts below the comment section please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not thank you